What's good everyone? It's your boy Santo G. Back at it, you already know spreading unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, that way you're notified when I drop future content. So today, I just wanted to continue with the Juvenile Hall Saga. That's where I'm at right now, so I want to continue with the little boop bounce bounce. Anybody that's watching my channel that's ever been to Camp, Juvenile Hall, YA, you guys know about locking legs. And for those of y'all who don't know what that is, pretty much what you do is you sit on the ground, like all the way on the ground, because they have walls that are like probably hip level. They have walls. And then aside from that, it's glass. So that way the hurras could see inside the bathroom. But it has a little wall. For that way when you're sitting down. You have a little bit of privacy when you're sitting down. Taking a masa or whatever. You know what I mean? Doing your thug diesel. So what people used to do. To get away with getting down. Without getting. Having to go live. Getting sprayed. Getting a ride up. Going to the box. Because in juvenile hall. They do send you to the box. They send you to the box for like five days. They have one unit that's designated just for that. Just for people that are going to the shoe. Pretty much. You know what I mean? They call it the box though. So, what you would do is you would go inside the bathroom. And you would sit down. You would put one leg. Lock each other's leg. Like wrap your guys' leg around each other. Pretty much your nutsack to nutsack. You know what I mean? That's, that's the way we say it. You know what I mean? You nutsack to nutsack. So boom, you're that close to each other like this. And now you just start fighting, you know what I mean? You can't go back because people be trying to go back. And you know what I mean? No, you got to just one, two, three. Boop, 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 boop. You know what I mean? Just going at it. You can't get up. Some people would, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I done kicked a couple of people to where you lock legs. And then you just boom, kick them in the face, hop up on them, boop, 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 tap in. If you know, you know. But that's one thing that I wanted to touch on as far as, I don't think I've ever heard anybody touch on that as far as having a locked legs. You know what I'm saying? Or live fights, the definition of what a live fight is. A live fight means that right there in the day room, you guys going to get sprayed, whatever. That's a live fight. You know what I mean? I remember when I first got to the compound, there was a, a a black. I don't remember where he was from, but we were sitting down across from each other and he used that word. He was like, something about trying to go live. Like, just looked at him like, what? I didn't understand what he was saying. Till another homie used that same word and I asked him like, hey bro, what do you mean by that? He's not like live, bro. When somebody tells you you want to go live, they're calling you out, homie. So I'm like, oh, what? Bet. Never once again did I let somebody ever tell me, hey, you want to go live and I don't do nothing. You know what I mean? Also, I don't know what camp. There was a big old fire over there by the San Fernando Valley in like 2008 or 2009. And there was a camp that had shut down for a little bit. I don't know if it was Houghton or one of those over there. But I remember it was close to them to where they shut down. They were sleeping inside our gym. Tap in if you were one of those that were inside that camp when it started that big old fire. And they emergency transferred y'all to Silmar. You guys were sleeping in the gym. You know what I mean? Tap in if you guys remember that. I'm not gonna lie. It was bad to the point that they could have make an episode like a fucking Law and Order or whatever crime episode or a show just based on that right there. You know what I'm saying? The way it was. It was to the point that hey, if I'm if I'm lying, I'm dying. It was to the point that our whole cells, you'll wake up in the morning and there'll be ash inside our cells. From coming inside the vent. You'll look outside. You'll see nothing but smoke. It was to the point where we were in there like dying. Smell like nothing but smoke. 
And they didn't evacuate Silmar though. They evacuated all the other camps, but Silmar still stayed. And I remember going to court and being on the freeway and seeing all the stuff that burned down. I was like, damn, that it was close. It was close to the juvenile hall. You know what I mean? I wouldn't doubt it if we wanted to file a lawsuit because they left us there and we were breathing in all that air. I wouldn't doubt it if we would win type shit. That's how vicious it was. The homies tap in if you guys were there with me, man, when it was them big old fires and bullshit, you know, you would look out the window and it's smoky. Like you couldn't even see. You see the ash falling, ash inside your cell from coming in the vents. It was bad. It's your boy Santo G. Shout out to the homie from AP. Said he wanted to hear a story about the homie um, Violent. You want to hear stories about my boy Koala? <laughs> That's what we used to call him, you know what I mean? Koala. His name is Caro, so we used to, the K, Koala, my boy Koala Bear. Shout out my boy Koala Bear, shout out my boy Violent. But Violent, man, he's a solid ass homie, man. Funny as hell too. He looks all serious. He looks like a grown man. I'm not even gonna lie. Every time when my carnalo come, cause shout out Big Saint, man. Fucking love you, bro. But when my carnal used to come and visit me, and Violent would be out there, they used to get along good. My carnal always got along good with Violent, and he got along good with the homie Shaggy. So every time we'll go to visit, we'll try to sit next to each other. You know what I mean? The homie Violent will get a, a visit from his jefita and his dad. You know what I mean? Salute to them too. Always, you know what I mean? Showed respect. You know what I mean? Always was up there. But Violent, man, he was a fool. My boy's a fool. He looks serious, but hey, he's a fool. Like, my boy got jokes. I've been trying to get a hold of the homie for a long ass time, man. And you know I me, mean? salute to you, my boy. I don't know if your homie's the one that hit you up. If you're the one that told my boy Violent, man, hey, salute to you, big dog. Just wanted to let you know, man, I am listening. I do look at the comments. And if you guys want to know something, like I said, man, get at me. But yeah, man, uh, Violent's actually the one that gave me my phone. I don't know how he got it. Hey, and my boy Violent, hey, I give it to you, fool. He didn't, nobody knew. I didn't know he had a phone. Nobody in the unit knew. And I mean nobody. I didn't know that he had the phone till he was already leaving the YA. That fool wanted to sell it to me, you know what I mean? I ended up giving him a half ounce of some stress, half of a half of some stress, you know what I mean? He ended up taking it to the Y and he gave me the phone. But now that I'm thinking about it, fucking violent, bro. You didn't tell none of us that whole time you held out on the phone, fool. I mean, good looks. You looked out at the end, but hey, I didn't even think about that one. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, shout out Violent, you know what I mean? That's how I had my phone, was able to call the party line, was able to keep in contact with all the homies, you know what I'm saying? And man, it just made my time there that much easier. You wouldn't have the me going on suicidal watch story. I wouldn't have came down and been chilling with all the homies from Drake. You know what I'm saying? I would have been stuck in Z. I wouldn't have been like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna go suicidal watch to go get my phone. So salute to you, big dog. My boy Violent, without knowing that simple action created a whole chain of events that was good for your boy. You know what I mean? Like regardless of whatever I went through, me having that, it just helped me that much more. And salute to my boy, Baby Bullet. I don't know how he ever, I don't know how long he lasted with that when I left it to him. But hopefully, you know what I mean? It still floated around in there for a good little while. You know what I mean? Cause you don't come across a phone like that, that often as far as inside a juvenile hall like that, childless, you know what I mean? Back then we was doing it. Phones, iPods, talking about straight Patron bottles in the sale. Man, I, I'm going to try to track down those pictures, man. But here's a picture of me, my boy Violent. It's Dumbo in the front with the homie Cholo from Pacoima. And then it's me in the back. It's Violent. And then it's the homie Casper from Little Mobsters. 
and then it's another little homie from Pacoima as well, which was my celly for a little bit. You know I me? Mean? But that's all of us right there, man. This was in Juvenile Hall. And you know I me? Mean? I appreciate you guys tapping in with me. I just wanted to share a couple more stories with y'all. Unity, prosperity, and respect. But of all, it's your boy Santo G. I appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, if you guys want some of that bombs out delivered to you, from yours truly, get at me on my Instagram. I'm gonna send you the menu. And shout out my good people at Killer Kush, cause without them, I wouldn't be able to make this possible. So big salute to Killer Kush, man. Y'all go follow them. If y'all don't smoke, still go follow them, man. Go get their numbers up. You know what I mean? They doing a big, big help for your boy by standing behind me with this whole delivery service and just everything in general. Every time I tap in with them with an idea, they either help me execute it or they direct me in the right way, man. So I appreciate them, you know what I'm saying? Go check out my good people at Frenchie Road Kennels. If you guys need a uh, top of the line Frenchie, shots up to date, paperwork in hand and everything, good prices too. Right now they got a good litter of miniature pinchers and a couple of other different dogs as well not just franchise so if you want a dog go tap in with them man i appreciate y'all man unity prosperity and respect above all let's get it